I hope you guys didn't like the story because I didn't like it personally. you guys so i am driving so you're gonna see the steering wheel a lot um i'm gonna have to turn and you're gonna see me disappear which is probably a good thing because i i look atrocious maybe i can try to move it down though that doesn't oh god i don't really know i'm just gonna fix it to what i'm comfortable with because safety is the key here okay so I wanted to throw up my phone and vlog with it because I stay busy, like I wake up early, take my brother to school, go babysit and then come home and try to use that time wisely and by wisely I mean like clearly I don't. So I'm going to try to like vlog on my phone right now because I don't really care about what I look like and I just want to have the clip in my hand so I can edit it. Um, it's just easier than like vlogging with my camera, sending that clip to my um, phone and then sending it to my computer and then editing from there. Um, I'm gonna try iMovie so like the edits are gonna be like different or whatever. I hope I know how to zoom because that's like my key thing. Okay, I'm turning now, hold on. I'm back. Anyways, yeah, so the audio is gonna be like cruddy because I'm driving you're just sitting behind my steering wheel um i'm also not gonna look at the camera a lot because i'm driving so yeah um so i just <laughs> it's story time okay so yeah it's story time so i posted on my instagram story like when this was going on because i just needed to like collect myself oh my god i shouldn't take the interstate because like it's very loud I'm gonna have bad audio for a second. I'm gonna try to get louder so you guys can hear me over the speeding of the interstate. But anyways. What was that about? And it was just convenient for me. I didn't think about doing this at the time. I just posted on Instagram little clippets. I'll insert those here. I was very like trying to stay calm because what happened yesterday really ticked me off but I you know it's fine pray for me I guess oh well, this car is speeding I ain't even gonna flex okay so story time perfect timing I just got on the interstate so I go drop my brother off and right before he gets out of the car my gas light goes on and I was like oh snap gotta get gas but this isn't my car I was driving a car off the lot um, because this car that I'm in right now has been messing up so I'm like test driving seeing like what I want right so I was driving it and you know the gas light went on I was like eh you know whatever and <laughs> we're going to leave I'm going to leave I had just dropped him off um, <clears throat> I'm going to leave and there's like of course a line this was like after car circle so there's like a line of getting out and i'm you know behind somebody and somebody's behind me that's how a line is formed and i accidentally bumped into this girl behind me i was not on my phone and i put that on everything like on everything promise you that and i didn't tell the state trooper that because i didn't want to sound sketch like i didn't just want to be like by the way i wasn't on my phone like that it would sound like i'm trying to cover something up so you know, I, did, I mean, me and God know that I was not on my phone, so I was not even gonna, just like, you know, yeah. Okay, anyways, I bumped into this girl, right? Uh, a bigger car. I'm in a Nissan Altima, and she was in a bigger car, and um, nothing really happened, nothing at all. It scared me because I've been in a bad accident, and oh my god, my allergies. So I was like shaking up, I put it in reverse, and then I was like, we're in way. So I put it in park, because I didn't want to reverse and hit the person behind me, and then it'd be like, boom, boom, you know, like, meh. So I put it in park, and I put, like, kept my foot on the brake, because sometimes when you put a car in park, and take your foot off the brake, it rolls forward a little, and it stops then, you know what I'm saying? So I kept my foot on the brake, because I didn't want to roll any more forward. I didn't know the damage that was done, but I didn't want to go any more. You know so she got out of the car and looked and she's kind of like oh okay like it's whatever and then i opened the door and i was 
like, ma'am, I'm so sorry. Like, I don't want to take my foot off the brake, so I'm going to stay here because I don't want to roll any more forward. And she was, like, upset and said that we need to pull over. And I was like, okay, like, I mean, like, of course, if, that, yeah, if that's what you want to do, I'm not going to just, like, drive off, you know. And um, so I pulled over with her, and we went to the back of her car, looked. She rubbed off the little dust or whatever she rubbed it off from like I guess the dirt from our cars I don't really know she rubbed it off and there was like nothing there there was like maybe a little bink that's maximum right and she was just like so upset it increased to she wanted to write a police report the damage that was the damage that was done to hers was um you can like buff it out it, and it wasn't even like that her car's black and big and like you're, you're not gonna notice that but if she wanted to get that fixed um tj even said like we can do that for free like don't worry about it like don't take it somewhere that's gonna like up your freaking price that like we're willing to do it for free so keep that in mind that we offered her that she got in her car and literally just like basically ignored me and said that she was gonna call the sro and i was like okay i thought maybe we could like hang out and so people got there but she was not down so she got in her car and i was like okay i'll just get in mine and just sit here and um <laughs> whatever i got tj's mom to talk to her about it and she was like well can i talk to her and i was like yeah and that's when again she offered like us not us, but them fixing it for free. And the girl was like, well, there's a crack, blah, 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 blah. And she just was not having it. Like, she had lied to Kathy and said that there was a crack. And that's when she was like, okay, let me, like, stop lying and hand the phone back to this little girl. Because I guess all she could say was lies. So she handed me the phone, and this was, like, after she said there was a crack. And I was just kind of like, am I missing something? And Kathy was like, can you send me a picture of the crack? And I was like, I mean, I can try, but there's nothing back there. There's not a crack, but I'll send you a picture of where I bumped into her. And I sent her a picture, and she was like, what? And I was like, what? Oh, well, before she came, the state trooper came. And we looked, and he was like, okay, where's the damage? And I was like, I don't know. And he looked at me and was like, okay, well, this is way below minimum. Um, like, there's minimum max, I guess, for insurance reports. And he's like, this is way below minimum. So I honestly, personally, would not report this to the police and just get it fixed. And I was like, I don't care if she wants to report it to the police or not. It's up to her. But we did offer to do, like, fix that for free. Fix whatever the issue is there for free. Like, we can replace that part if you need it for free we offered that and she stands up and steps in front of me and i stepped back because i was like i'm not done talking to the officer why are you like why are you trying to act like this offer is not up and he was like yeah well i would definitely do that instead of reporting to the police but it is my job to do that so if you want to report it to the police we still can she calls up her husband and her husband was like well get that officer's phone number phone number and name and phone number and um we're gonna take it somewhere to see if it is over the minimum or below it, like he says. And if it's over it, then we are going to report it. And if it's below it, we'll just like, whatever, like fix it, I guess. I don't really know. And I was like, okay, well, we are offering to do it for free. Why would you take it somewhere and see what they want, like how much they want from you? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can do that for free. We will do it for free because it was my fault. I will, like, I'll take that blame, and, um, we did offer, like, we'll do it for free, so why are you going to, like, could, like, try to prove the state trooper wrong and take it somewhere? Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me, but if that's what they wanted to do, it's really ignorant, but, like, they did it, and I don't, I could care less. Kathy finally got there and was looking at the damage, just like the officer just did, and was like, okay, where's the crack? Because the girl said that was a crack. And she's like, Courtney, can you show me the crack? And I went over there, and I was like, I don't really see anything. I mean, like, here's a little bink. I don't know. Like, I don't see a crack. And she was like, I don't either. I don't know what she's talking about. And I was like, I don't know. I don't even know why she said that. And um, so the girl's writing down all my information. 
So, I mean, I have nothing against the girl. It's my fault. Like, I, I, I am sorry for it. And, but Kathy was like, she's getting all of your information, so get hers. I got her name and phone number. That's nothing compared to what she got of mine. But it's okay. I don't really care. Um, I mean, I guess I should really care, but I don't. I mean, it's really whatever. But... She was writing out all my information and just ignoring Kathy, like, asking, like, where's this crack that you say? And so, finally, she gives Kathy, you know, attention and then acknowledge her question. And she bends over and points at the damage, which, again, was absolutely nothing. And she was like, it's right there. Do you not see it? Like, do you need, she said, do you need glasses? And at that point, Mama Bear was coming out from Kathy because at this point, I was, I was here alone stuck i was supposed to be at kathy's house helping her and i was here stuck with this girl that has me just sitting here waiting for an officer she never called and her mom pulls up and they're like being rude and to kathy they were like getting up on me i i didn't i didn't care if they ganged up on me or anything but mama bear was coming out from kathy so when she said that to her she stood up and she was a matter of fact they do need glasses but there's absolutely nothing there so there was like a feud almost happening there and the state trooper did not care at all it was really funny tj like um you know got in between that and was like well come down but um it wasn't anything crazy but it could have been you know what i'm saying but the state trooper <laughs> did not care at this point he was like mad that this lady just made this whole scene over absolutely nothing and we were offering to do it for free and she's being ignorant so whatever and um so after that feud almost happened, the girl was like, oh snap, like maybe I need to like leave because I have nothing, like she's not doing, like she's not doing anything but causing problems. So she goes to get in her car. She was wanting to shut the door and I'm standing there like, if you're gonna shut the door, you're gonna hit me and I'm gonna fall to the ground and um. Sue you. And TJ's trying to scan her VIN number so that um, we can, he can get the part and, like, fix it for her, for, like, cheap, like, I don't know, we were just trying to be nice at this point, we didn't want, like, th there was no point for anything else, right, and she just, like, flips out, she's like, back away from my car, don't take pictures of my car, like, covering up the VIN number, and we were like, uh, and I told her, I was like, that part that you have cracked, he can get for only $10 and do that for you, and she was, like, flipping out, she's just being ignorant, not even caring about, like, the fact that we will do it and mind you she told me when nobody was there when the cop wasn't there when her mom wasn't there when kathy wasn't there she told me she knows tommy's quality used car she has bought in two cars from them before okay so when kathy gets there tell me why her and her mama want to flip out and say we didn't want to take the offer because we don't know if your car lot is real we didn't want to get scammed I'm sitting here with a car off the lot. It's pretty dang real. You said that you bought two cars from them. What do you mean you didn't want to get ripped off? You didn't want to get like, you thought you were going to leave and like, get your hopes up about getting it fixed and it just never happened. No, it was going to happen. What do you mean? Like you, ignorant people. Oh, they get on my nerves. But anyways, okay, that was my story time. So hopefully, you guys got something out of it i hope you guys didn't like the story because i didn't like it personally okay well yeah thanks for watching guys thanks for coming back to my channel see you guys next time with the next video this was not planned so see you guys in the next video that i do have planned and already filmed but you yeah, see things happen all right see you guys next time